Hello humans, it's just Martine and this week we're doing a chatty study with me but before I get into the study with me portion of this video I just wanted to share some insight that one of my professors told me after my class today that will motivate you in your studies hopefully. During class one of my classmates asked a question and my teacher said I know that I knew the answer to this at one point but I totally forget so I'll get back to you on it. I happen to know the answer because it was about identical twins and I'm an identical twin so Anyway, so I raised my hand and I answered it for him. And then after class, he was thanking me. He was like, you know, we forget these things all the time. There's so much to remember, blah, 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 blah. And I said, I'm happy to know that you still forget stuff about this because it helps me when I'm studying to realize that like, I'm not going to remember all of it. And he said, these courses are frankly ridiculous. If you remembered everything you learned in these basic courses and you knew how to apply them, we could just hand you your degree because there's no way that we're actually meant to remember all of these things long term and we're going to forget things all the time. That's just how the human mind works. Like if we're not using information, we're going to forget it. But it just felt really good to be told by like a PhD that like there are basic things that you will forget and that doesn't make you any less valuable. That doesn't make you any less smart. It just means that's not what you're focusing on right now. So you're not going to remember it. And when he called the courses, frankly ridiculous, I was like, I'm glad a professor knows what's up. So that's my motivation for you. Let's jump into the study with me. So first up right here, you see me working on my bio test. I had a take home test for the entire weekend and this was Monday morning I was working on fixing things, finishing them up. It was due by the end of the day on Monday. I was also running all my answers through Grammarly because one of the points of the take home test being so long is that my teacher wanted our writing to be more succinct and more well thought out than it would have been if we were taking this as like a timed test in class. So I was fixing all those things. It was a very long test, but so far he's graded most of it and I'm doing pretty well on it. So that's good. And really, I'm just glad that we finished this first test out of the two tests, except for the final. And right here, you see me taking some notes on what my paper is going to be about for my child advocacy class, because we have written assignments every couple of weeks and the written assignments go over the topics that we covered in class on certain days. So I was looking back at the syllabus and like making note of what we studied and then looking through all the readings and the papers and also the PowerPoints that we had. And then I started like formatting my paper because it's an APA format so I wanted to make sure I was doing that right based off of my last written assignment and then I'm going in and I'm just starting to write it. Great news is that I've actually gotten this back like it was graded because I filmed this like two weeks ago and I actually ended up getting 100% on it so that's awesome. I'm proud of myself in this clip right here working on it trying to make it the best it can be because it's the best grade that I've gotten on one of the written assignments so far, although to be honest, I felt like it was the worst one I wrote. So there's that fun thing that we go through in life sometimes where we put a disproportionate amount of work into the outcome that we receive, but that's just kind of how life is and how school is especially, and so I try not to let it get me down. I'm, I'm working on that, so. But it just took a long time for me to work on drafting it. Granted, I only drafted it in like a couple of hours on this one Monday, because that's when I had the time to and it was also due on Tuesday. I think this is probably the latest I've ever started one, but I finished it with plenty of time to spare. Like, I think I turned it in before Tuesday, even started it was due at like 3 p.m. on Tuesday, so all is well. And here I am still drafting it, but now in a change of location, if you will, in my organization's office doing office hours, just sitting with my mask on by myself, drafting this paper, like the fun times that we do have typically on this channel <laughs> during a study with me. I forgot to mention that the paper I'm writing about is actually about sexual offenders and specifically um, juvenile offenders and victims of sexual abuse. And it was a really depressing paper to write and an even more depressing thing to study in class, but we're through that unit pretty much, so that's always good. And now we're looking at more like child advocacy careers and stuff, which even though they work with like children who have been through a lot of stuff, it's way more hopeful because you get to hear some success stories as opposed to watching documentaries like Athlete A on Netflix, which are just really depressing overall. And like even though Dr. Nasser was eventually convicted and is serving his time now, it was still really hard to watch. And now I'm going back to taking bio notes because, once again, it's something I do very often. But the interesting thing to know about this clip is that I'm actually in the lounge of my dorm room, like, common room, and I was actually, of course, with my mask on, having a study session with a couple of other people from my floor, 
including my sister, and that was really fun, and we actually did that again this past week, and I really hope it like sticks around as something we do every once in a while because it was really helpful. And usually I wouldn't do much homework on a Tuesday night, which is when this portion was filmed. And so Wednesday came and I felt like really ahead because I had gotten stuff done, and that's pretty awesome. I usually don't do work at night in general, and on Tuesdays I usually don't do homework at all. So this was like all in all a very weird time for me, but also a very successful time. And now I of course have these like very aesthetically pleasing and satisfactory videos of me taking notes by hand, which is always more fun than watching people type notes, I guess. And that's one of the reasons that I like to take my bio notes by hand, not gonna lie, is because it just looks cooler when I look back at the time lapses that I make, but also because so many things are online this year. I just didn't want to have like all my notes online too. I wanted to look at paper for something in my life. I didn't just want to be staring at a screen all the time, even though I am staring at the screen to take the notes. It's so nice to look away from the screen every once in a while to actually take them instead of just like typing them at the same time, even though typing them would be faster, but like, also, in this class I feel like I draw things sometimes, it would just be really weird to try and type those things, like, I wouldn't like it. So I just take the notes by hand and it's all okay. I also, at the beginning of the semester, was using like a pen to take these notes more and I switched to pencil eventually because I use like a different utensil, like writing utensil, when I go over those notes in class to differentiate like what I learned outside of class and in class. and. It's just better to use a pen in class. Here I'm doing some reading for Psych Honors Seminar for the presentation that one of my classmates gave on that Friday. And actually, this was a pretty interesting set of articles to read. It's about cognitive enrichment in animals. The first article that I'm reading right now is like just a review article. So a review article is just an article about a bunch of different studies on the same topic. So in this one, cognitive enrichment in animals. So they talked about farm animals, they talked about zoo animals, all those different things. And then the second paper has to be like an empirical study and so it was way more specific and <laughs> was I think the funniest thing that I've ever had to read for a class. Not because it was like funny in the way it was written, but just because of what it was about necessarily. <laughs> because it was actually about cognitive enrichment in pigs. And so I got to tell people that I was reading an article about pig behavior for class and that was just very entertaining for me. There was some debate in my class about whether or not the procedure that was used in this specific article actually counted as cognitive enrichment, but the student who was presenting it made a really good case for it, so there's that, I guess. And it did lead to some interesting conversations in class on Friday then, but overall it was just weird to read and kind of confusing. I don't study animal behavior, so I didn't know much of what was going on. Here I'm going back to taking bio notes. Because what else would I be doing? And I'm going to contradict myself immediately, what I said about pencil. I will say that I've taken lots of bio notes since I filmed this, and I have indeed switched to all pencil, but clearly here, I just wanted to write with a pen for a day, so I did. So ignore pretty much everything I've ever said, I guess, because it's a total blasphemous lie. <laughs> but for the rest of this video, you're just going to see me taking bio notes, so I'm going to use this as an opportunity to tell you that if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, and up in the cards I'll include a link to my college playlist which includes lots of similar study with me's to this. So if you enjoyed it, go ahead and check some of those older videos out, and if you want to see this more in the future, remember to give it a big thumbs up, and comment down below how you're doing, if you've been doing work recently, if this made you feel productive in any way, if this inspired you to get some work done, if you also like the look of someone taking handwritten notes, I'm very curious, so just let me know, and subscribe for more reading, writing, and college lifestyle content on Wednesdays and Sundays, and until next time, bye humans, bye!